Isn't it, uh, aren't we blessed to be in God's house tonight? That, that, that needs a, a response. Aren't we blessed to be in God's house tonight? Woo! There we go. I want to I read a passage uh, uh, to you, something that, that really just uh, stood out to me uh, a number of days ago, and, and God's just kept, kept it in my head. In Colossians in chapter 3, in verse 12, it says, Put on then as God's chosen ones, holy and beloved, compassionate hearts, kindness, humility, meekness, and patience, bearing with one another, and if one has a complaint against another, forgiving each other, as the Lord has forgiven you. So you also must forgive. Above all, put on love, which binds everything together in perfect harmony. Isn't it beautiful? With, with the kids on Fridays, we've been, been doing a summer series and theme of God's love. We've been understanding what that means, what that looks like. And, and I think tonight is a real special treat of God's love. We have some pretty neat uh, guests with us tonight. Not only do we have the, the church from Town Creek in South Carolina, uh, Town Creek Baptist Church joining us again, and Pastor Clint uh, bringing a, a message to us uh, in, in tonight and then again on Sunday. We have some wonderful members, and tomorrow with the sports camp, but, and then tomorrow, or tonight we have some wonderful members from Town Creek that are going to be singing with us. And, and then we also have a, a very special treat to have the Salvation Divine Ministry Choir with us. And you see, so, yeah, give them a round of applause, yeah? And, and so tonight, tonight I want to encourage you to do something. I want to encourage you to, to, to allow God to put that love on you tonight. To open up your hearts, open up your minds. Because when we sing songs, and I tell the youth and kids this uh, every Friday. I said, when we sing praise and worship songs, don't sing it from your head. If you sing it to your head, you're singing to yourself. Sing it from your heart. When we sing to our heart, and I'll be honest with you, I'm not a very good singer. I've been asked many times, especially when I was in university, I was asked not to sing. <laughs> I'm, it's a true story. But when I sing from my heart, I don't care what the person beside me, I don't, I don't care if it's a beautiful voice or a bad voice, because I'm singing to my Lord and Creator. I'm singing to my Savior. And so tonight, let, let's put on that love. Let's let God touch us in a special way. Because we, we not only are blessed with our, our normal youth choir, but they're joined together, three groups, singing in harmony. Harmony, as Colossians said. And I think what a great opportunity. Let's pray. Father God, we're so blessed and honored to be in your house tonight. Father, I pray in, in, in these moments as we, as we leave everything outside of this church building, Many of us are going through hardships, whether they're financial or difficulties with family. Going through things at work. I know some of the kids in summer school. We have all these things that are going on in our minds and they're, they're occupying us. And so Lord Jesus, I pray tonight that everyone here leaves those outside of this building. And Father, in these next moments, they just bow before the King. And Lord, as we sing these songs, they're not just songs. They're love songs. Lord, open our hearts, open our minds. Lord, I pray that you touch us tonight in a special way. Yes, Lord. That you would fill us back up. The world is an evil place. And so, Father, right now, we take refuge in your arms. Lord, thank you for the privilege and the blessing of being in your house tonight. We commit this time to you in your wonderful and holy name. Amen. Amen. Once again, I just want to express how glad I am to be standing beside this huge choir. Can we just give him one more hand, please? Before I come to Canada, I never thought I would be standing here worshiping with people from all over the world. I wouldn't say all over, but from different parts of the world. And we're definitely happy to be in the presence of the one true God that unites us in his presence. I'm going to read to you a very part of scripture, a very short part of scripture, and then we're going to start singing. Amen? Here's what the word of God says in Hebrews 4. Verse 14, seeing then that we have a great high priest who has passed through the heavens... Jesus, the Son of God, 
let us hold fast our confession. For we do not have a high priest who cannot sympathize with our weaknesses, but was in all points, in all things, tempted as we are, yet without sin. Let us therefore come boldly to the throne of grace, that we may obtain mercy and find grace to help in time of need. Tonight we're gathered together at the throne of grace. And if it wasn't for this grace, none of us, none of us would be here. So, just like the Bible says, how many of us here are in time of need? I know we all are. And I know that our needs may vary. But our God is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Amen? All right. I know we're not, you know, a very enthusiastic church, but can I get an amen? amen? All right. Let's stand to worship. Before we worship, I just want you to take just a few quick seconds and I want you to make a decision among yourself. None of what we're doing is important without Jesus. So I want you to make a decision right now that you're going to lift your eyes upon Jesus Christ. Can we just take a quick second of prayer? Just tell Lord, I lift my eyes upon you tonight. I come here because of your grace, because of your blood, because of your cross. I thank you for carrying my cross and dying on it for my sins. And we come boldly at your feet, Lord, because of your grace and your precious blood. Feel free to clap and worship God however you want.
people, Lord, to remember your people, remember your children. We are your children called remember by your name.
worship you, Lord. You are name above all names. You are worthy of all praise. And my heart will sing how great is my God. You are name above all names. You are worthy of all praise. And my heart will sing how great is my God. How great. this words this is the word of God there is no other name given on earth by which we shall be saved there is no other name with all due respect to whatever you believe the word of God is true there is no other name given on earth by which we shall be saved and today if you call upon that name if you declare in name above all names, you and the people of your household shall be saved. Every household that has the name of Jesus called upon it will be saved. And if you believe it, declare it with me. You are name above all names. You are worthy of all praise. We bow down before you. And my how great is my God, my God, name above all, you are name above all names, you are worthy of all praise. There's no other name.
name higher than you. In my life, Jesus, you are the first, the last, the Alpha, and the Omega. It is our God. It always captures my heart and my mind to think that this great God and all his power and all his might and all his majesty and all his glory thought of me in my sin and thought that I'm worth dying for. Brothers and sisters, there is no greater love than it is for one to lay down himself for those he loves. Amen. How many people have been captured by this love with me here? And here's the thing. I don't care what's going on in your life, and Jesus probably cares a little more, but whatever your state is, there is nothing that the blood of Jesus cannot conquer in your life tonight. Amen? What can wash away Just voice. 
Jesus. Oh, precious is the flow. The church sings. That makes me white as snow. Thank you, Lord, for your cross. Thank you for your blood. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, Lord, you've searched me. You know my way. Even when I fail you,
separates us now. When you said that it is done, at the cross I bow my knee, where your blood was shed for me. There's no greater love than there is no greater love than this for you tonight. You have overcome the grave. Your glory fills the highest place. Open your heart to him tonight. He wants to pour out his love on you. At the cross I bow my knee. Where your blood was shed for me. There's no greater love than. Father God, we thank you because there is no power on earth or in heaven that can separate us from your love. I thank you because I know that you love me. I know that you love every single person in this room. And I know that you have laid yourself slain for every single soul in our presence. I thank you so much because there is no greater love than this. There's just not. And I pray that your love would captivate our hearts tonight, Father. I pray that your love would soften our hearts as we hear your word. That you'd open our hearts and make, make us obedient to your word, Lord. I pray that you would pour out your grace upon us. I pray that you would pour out your mercy upon us. Lord, I pray for many souls that are under so many guilt from themselves and condemnations to be lifted tonight. I pray that your grace would set the captive free, that your grace and your glory would heal the sick. I pray that your grace would deal with many buried issues in our lives. Father God, I pray that your mercy and your grace would come and invade our hearts tonight with your love and that you would mold us so that we look a lot more like you, Lord Jesus. We give you all the honor, all the praise, all the glory, all the majesty, and we lift your name high forever and ever. And the church of God said, Amen. You may be seated.